bruised. And bruised. We're adults. We do. Listen to thoughts. Listen to tunes. Drink, drink some brews. Drink some brews. We're adults. We're dudes. Listen to tunes. Listen to tunes. And drink some brews. And drink some brews. What's up? What's up, y'all? Welcome. Yo. Welcome. This is uh, technically episode uh, 13. This is episode 13. This is what we're episode doing. Episode 13, Dudes, Tunes, and Brews. And what is this? This is the recap of the Dudes, Tunes, and Brews telethon. telethon. That's right. We just had this recently and had a whole lot of awesome guests. We have isolated and encapsulated all their footages separately from each other. And we'll be releasing them in a limited series for the next few weeks. So uh, that's going to be awesome. But what are we doing this week? Who Who is the first Spotlight episode Josh Froman? Uncle Paul Burris. Uncle Paul Burris. That's right. He's one of our uncles. Not mine. Not his. Everyone's uncle. He's, uh, he's the world's uncle. He's the dude's uncle. He's uh, the new dad's uncle. He's, the dude's uh, uncle. Yeah. And the year was 1969. Paul Burris had his first taste of beer, and it was none other than Miller High, Miller High Life. He actually let us know about it, and then he started his set. And then he had one with us after his set. He did. And was going to have another one with us, but he went uptown and uh, drank other Miller High Lifes with other dudes. Yeah. And at the end of the night, he was tore down, is what I heard. So tore down, in fact. But who that, wasn't? Oh, good lord. I mean, that's... I know I was. Yeah, I mean, everybody was. There was uh, plenty of food, plenty of fun, but uh, back to Paul Burris. Paul uh, Burris. What was your favorite track of his? Uh, man, I liked I liked to say his style was Americana, it was rock, it was folk, it was just a mixture of a bunch of good acoustical stuff. His, he had that one song, Morning Wood, which yeah. was quite comical. It was a great uh, sing-along with great everybody. Sing -along. I, I think he did four verses on that. He was so good that he actually had an encore within the song. He had a very good, it was a very good opening act for the telephone. Uh, then, probably my favorite angle of the camera that we played with. Yes, it was a nice yes, uh, yes. Tim Burton style yep. angle up and about. The, the main camera took a shit right before his set, so he had to quickly scurry and hook up another camera. You see Danny String and Marquis before his set on the actual original footage uh, scurrying to put a new camera up. Danny uh, String and Marquis is, I call, a young Paul Burris. Yeah, sure. And without further ado, we present to you Uncle, Uncle Paul, Paul Burris. Burris. Y'all got a chance to tune out now. <laughs>
can't say what's come over me It's like I'm not even trying Another town will have another round Another high life They won't know they were lying They've been taking care of me since about 1968, I believe. I wasn't supposed to drink till 78, but in 68 I started. Thank you. Thank you, Milwaukee. Let's see here. It's really great to be out. What a beautiful day! I ain't got time for an argument. I don't care about this government. I'm just trying.
Sit applause on that one. <laughs> right, right. Well, since Chris Wolf is in the house, I'm going to sing a song I don't usually do in public. And it's all his fault. Here, it's all your fault. Well, he hosted the, the Square Cat vinyl open mic, which will happen again. And, uh, Something happened afterwards that caused me to write this song. And, I, and this was originally a, a tribute to Mel Tillis. And I was singing it, but then he died, so I quit singing it. So, Bucky Me's dead, you know. It's called Little Things. See if I can remember it. It's the little things, nine nah, how it goes. To stone me. <laughs> it wasn't part of the plan. To stone me. Now I'm not sure where I am. To stone me. And I'm doing the best I can just to make it home. Got me stoned. Cause it's the little things that make a life worthwhile. It's the little things that make you wanna smile. And it's the little things. It's all get said and done. It's the little things. To make life so much fun Now my mom, my, my mom told me Son, be careful where you lay My mom told me told me, son, before you go out to play, there's some STDs that just won't go away. And it's the little things to make you want to smile. And it's the little things that make So much fun. Yeah, I'm looking right at it. Yeah, you go, cross your legs. Now Beth b -b -b blew me. She worked her fingers to the bone. Beth b -b blew me. I've been shown And now Beth is gone I'll 
only cause those little things make you wanna smile and it's the little things make a life worthwhile and it's the little things when it all gets said and done it's the little things that make life so much fun I swear, Chris crossed me with the bar tab. I got stuck. Chris crossed me. Now I'm down to my last buck. Chris crossed me, and it seems I'm out of luck. Cause it, you know, it really seems my buddy Chris, he don't give up. Cause it's a little place to make Now you see why I don't play that one off. <laughs> oh. Where are we at on time? How am I doing, guys? It's six or five. Five I got time. Maybe two more. Two more. All right. Or one Paul Burris song. song. Hey, you know, I resemble that yeah, remark. All right, uh, gentlemen, <coughs> uh, you feel free to wear this if you like. I know you actually want to do it.
I was born a privilege. That's really all I knew. I had to open my eyes just to realize what the hell's been happening to you. Someone said, all lives matter. That's not really what they mean. To them there's only one color, and that's a color green. I got eyes that look you up, a heart that hears you cry. I got shoulders for you to lean on. I'm your ally, I'm your ally. <laughs> okay, this is a. I gotta sing this one. This is a. This is a sing along. So open that door and sing along. This is for old guys like me and Chris. Don't drag me into this. <laughs> and you guys all someday. This is a warning for you, dude. Came home from the tavern and it was quite late. We really had it to town. And because our encounter had been one of fate, we started fooling around. Well, I soon discovered love I could not make when a room spinning around in my mind so, <laughs> to take asking when would be the next time and she said morning would Tear to my eye. And to my other eye. <laughs> now I had my memories as a young man. I was still just a boy. Woke up one morning to dawn's early light. To find that I had a new toy And I asked my dear mother Hey, what could this be? And she said to me, quite annoyed She said, go ask your father Don't be bothering me That's it, son
that I've wanted on the show for a while. I have yet to get you on the show, but uh, I think it needs to happen. You're a Miller High Life guy? Miller High Life guy. I have been born and brave. Born and brave. come up here since, since 1968. Well, okay, back in the day, yeah, I was a kid, and we would go rummaging around through a trash heap in my backyard. You know, right, big okay. Performance yeah. stuff, and we'd find these Miller High Life bottles. It was just so cool. Yeah. You know, and then, then as I came up here to play and, and to be drinking, uh, that was my beer of choice. Yeah, you know, sure. all, all my all right friends do, are drinking man. that, you know, that BUD shit, you know. Yeah. And and, yeah. and and I always I always hung on for the Miller High Life. And then as I got older and later in years, that become a very affordable choice. Yes. yes. So, so I uh, I just really appreciate it even all the more. Right. You know? Yes. So it's interesting how the uh, platform for different beers has changed, like the type of people that drink it, like like a uh, Colt Forty Five, for instance. Oh wow. You know, like that used to be like. A premium type of beer. If you look at the old commercials and stuff, it's oh, like yeah. this, you know, this guy gets home from work, just in like a white collar dude, he's like, well, he poured me a beer, and it's like Colt 45. Well, now it's like, and how many people drink malt liquor? Oh, I like malt liquor. Well, I, I like it in It's okay. Uh, now, my, back in our day, you know, we had Wiedemann, we had Schwitz, we had Falls, half had Falls City. There are a lot of regional beers, right, right, right. which Milwaukee was a Miller area. But uh, I lived in an old farmhouse when I first got out of high school uh, in Red's Corner. Oh, you're talking about Redford here in Indiana? Yeah, it is. It's where Atkin Road and Greenwood yeah, Road meet. Yeah, 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 that's cool. And, and we would go down there, and they wouldn't yeah. serve me, but they'd serve my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay, okay, nice, okay. nice. And, and we would drink all the milk, and we'd drink all the bud, and we'd drink all the slits, and we'd drink all the Mickey's cream ale, and we'd drink... Yes. And they would never reorder until we drank the last bit of the fall <laughs> staff or fall city. Yeah. Because they knew we would drink right. fucking anything. Right. Right. Okay. Sure, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. then we would drink drinkers. And, and, and why am I talking to this? Oh, we're just trying to pick you up. Okay. With people at home. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but so we you know, then then they would reorder and we would drink again. So, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah um, absolutely. So Miller right. Miller has been in my blood for for years. Well, I know what we're gonna get when you're on the show. Right. So, right. So, right. So, right. We can make that happen. So yeah, I mean, uh, that was a good set. I liked it. It was, a, it was kind of like an Americana folksy rock type blending of stuff. He, people ask me what 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 is it you play? What do you do? And I'm like. Ah, whatever the hell I want. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, we'll show up to that gig. Speaking of which, you got another gig after this. Where you're playing? Uh, we're playing Garfield Brewery, which nice. is another nice. place for yes. great beer. Um, and uh, they've been been very supportive of local music and especially original music. So, oh, yeah. so where is it located? It's uh, South Shelby, just south, south of Shelby. Raymond Street. Okay, right. yeah, it's everyone's right. opened up yeah. and they're they about uh, close to the industry. Yeah, they're cleaning yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah that slowly whole, trickling that down. whole neighborhood's going around and yeah. uh, they've been doing they that after I moved out, of course. Yeah, they got, yeah I hear that a lot. <laughs> they got Chase Bank out of there. Right. Yeah. Uh, real um, quick, though, uh, I love the 4th of July. 
I always have enough booze and meat to satisfy 14 neglected housewives. What do you think about that, Paul? What do you think about that, Paul? How does that make you feel? Well, are they all neglected extra lives, or are they just uh, uh, You know? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we know you got another gig coming up, Paul. Right, man. We don't want to keep you too late. Thanks for being here. Thanks for playing. Thanks well, for, you know, John with us a little if bit. If you don't mind, yeah. I'm going to stay for a little bit and go, go ahead. thanks to Chris Wolf. Hell yeah, yeah, we like that. Yeah, we got Chris Wolf coming on at uh, 6.30. We're going to go take a minute, and we're going to go to the phone table all and right. see how things are going, and uh, we're going to set up for uh, Rash the Clown here in about we are. five, ten minutes. Go ahead, go ahead, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody in watching? would you like to give ten Phone now. number? Thank it's you on for the calling DMC back and making sense. Yes, I got to go. Thank you. in Harlem. Yeah, we're the dudes. And they're worth your follows. So go ahead and sit down, too. Dum, bum, bum. They'll pick you up when you're feeling blue. So cheer up and so have a brew. Ha, 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 ha.